This is Eric Pine at 72 PC, and this is another week's Quick Hits. This week, we got some more news on how Rocket League plans on adapting free-to-play. We got some updates on Fall Guy patches in Season 2 coming out, and some brand new information on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But first, we're going to get into what I'm excited about this week. And that is Star Wars Squadrons. Fresh off the press at Gamescom, they were able to show us a brand new trailer. It's about three minutes long, has some cinematics, has some hints into what's going to happen in the campaign. Only the single player so far, though. But my lord, this looks sweet. They've officially announced that it's going to be 100% VR supported. So everyone will be able to jump to an X-Wing or TIE Fighter, throw on their preferred VR helmet and just get into it. Now, if they get HOTA support, this is going to be the ultimate fucking flying simulator anyone can get a hold of. Sorry, Microsoft. This is going to beat you. And enough about what I'm excited about. Let's move on to some Rocket League news. So Rocket League recently announced how it's going to rework its challenge system. As we've looked back in the past, they've talked about how they're going to rework the tournament system and stuff like that. But now they're announcing that they're going to rework their challenge system. And this is something that's already in the game. Whenever you have Rocket Pass, you have, on a weekly basis, three free and three premium challenges. And that concept's going to stay the same, only it's going to expand out of the Rocket Pass. Meaning that there's going to be free challenges for everyone, every week. No Rocket Pass required. And these challenges are going to be much like the weeklies that you get on the Rocket Pass. And then there's also going to be premium challenges for those whom are buying the Rocket Pass. So they'll get additional challenges to accomplish. Uh, the reason this is important is the challenges are now how you're going to unlock items. Currently in the game, when you level up, you get a drop, whether it be some crappy uncommon item like the, I don't know, cherry topper or something like that, or up to a very rare like Rocket Boost. And then you can trade those in and get up to like painted wheels or painted cars and boosts, however you prefer to play that. Now, when you level up, that's not going to happen anymore. You're just going to get drops from challenges. But good news is these challenges will also include what was previously blueprint items or previously crate items. So now there's a potential of getting these once premium only items for free from doing these challenges. So there are some upsides. Downside, obviously, is there's a set number of challenges you can accomplish a week. They're also adding outside of the scope of a week to what challenges they're calling seasonal challenges. And these are going to be loftier challenges, stuff like play 100 games or even more so win 100 games. These challenges are going to be set once a season. Once season resets, you'll get new challenges. They've also laid out the roadmap for how they're going to handle new players joining the game after free to play when it comes to unlocking the content in the original game. So they are setting up what they're calling driver challenges. And these driver challenges are just going to be small challenges to try to get the players incorporated into the game. And these things are going to unlock different cars like X devils and stuff like that, as well as some of the wheels like rat rods. This is important because players coming into the game are only going to have access to three vehicles, the breakout, the octane and the Merc. So these driver challenges are how they're going to unlock the content that was given to the people who purchased the game. We'll keep you all informed on what's coming up with Rocket League as it is preparing for free to play. But until then, let's talk about another game that's preparing to come out. And that's Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. There has been some recent news come out about this game, uh, both announced from Activision, confirmed by Activision, and data mined out of the game. This is going to be a direct sequel to the original Black Ops. For those of you who care about the story, you should see this continue on to the notes that were happening in the very first. We're expecting this to actually be between Black Ops 1 and 2, so we don't know if there's going to be retconning of things that happened in 2. They've also announced that zombie mode is going to be in the game, as well as all multiplayer zombie mode, as well as death matches, are going to be cross-gen and cross-platform. That means if you're on an Xbox One, you can play with people both on PC and Xbox Series X. This is a really nice thing for them to state coming out the gate. You don't have to worry about getting into the ecosystem with your friends. Now you can just get it wherever you want and still be able to play with your friends. It's a really good solid move by them. And I hope this trend stays forward for more developers. And then the final bit is probably the most important bit. This game's coming out in November. 
So in a few months, we'll all be able to see what's going on with it. I'm not sure personally if I'm jumping into it. I know that some people around 72 will. So if it's your cup of tea, it's coming out in November. Hope you all like it. Fall Guys is also in the news this week. Quite a few things came out, but the most important thing in my eyes is that they've officially announced what they're planning to do with season two. And I hope this is something they keep going forward with all these seasons. So they're having a theme, and this theme is going to be medieval times. So you're going to see more medieval costumes come up in the store. They've teased stuff like knights and dragons, which are really cool. And who knows what else they're going to come up with. And they're also adding new rounds. And these are going to be also medieval themed. Like there's some stuff that looks similar to castles and stuff like that. These rounds are going to be very familiar to you as they seem like they're still going to be very much the same concept as the original rounds. But something I noted that was kind of cool, and if you look at this trailer, you'll see there are actually some units in the map you can move around to accomplish what you need. Such as you need to get over a wall, people are moving around blocks to get them to where you can move over a wall. Which could be a really fun concept in a race where it's a free-for-all, who's going to bite the bullet and move the block that everyone else is going to jump on. Also, good news for the devs, they have officially hit the 7 mil sold mark on Steam, which is really, really good for them. Because right now, they're not selling on PlayStation because, hell, they're just giving the game away for free if you have PS Plus. So also take that note, if you have PS Plus, you don't have Paul guys, pick that shit up. It's real good. And we'll get out of here on some game updates. First off, we're going to start with cheaters. We all hate them. Well, they've been keeping track of them and they've been banning them after. But the fact is, if they win the game, they stole it from someone. So, they're no longer waiting until after the game's they're now going to straight up kick them out of the lobby as soon as they're detected. So from here on out, if they detect a cheater, cheater gone instantly. And then finally, we're going to get you out of here on what I think the deal of the week is. And that is Planet Coaster. Currently sitting about 75% off, just over 11 bucks. This game is really good if you like the old Roller Coaster Tycoon games. In fact, if you already have this game, kind of drifted off of, because you know, you've, you've, done what you wanted to do with it. All the DLC is on sale currently too for varying discounts. So if you enjoyed Roller Coaster Tycoon or if you already have Planet Cl Coaster, click in on Steam, see what all they have there. You might want to pick something up while it's on sale. And with that, that's all we got for you here at Quick Hits. So until next week, game on. <laughs>